ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey tea sippers, happy Sunday. I hope everybody's doing good today. So I just wanted to come on here and do a video. I want to do an update. As you guys know, I did a podcast the other day with me and Marianelle. And we were kind of breaking the news that had just hit social media earlier that night about Corey Gamble and Kris Jenner. And basically, it was a video that Gossip in the City had posted. And it was Corey Gamble making out with the girl that we found out later was an IG model. Her name is Jamil. And so basically in this video, he's kissing her. You really can't tell it's Corey at first. You just see like this dark face. There wasn't a lot of light. But once you expose the still shot, it definitely looked like Corey Gamble. And I had posted that in the podcast so you guys could see. Now, what was very interesting is that I was initially going to post the video that I had. But when I went to Gossip in the City's page, because I was watching it, and when I went to click on the video itself to download it, it was gone. And I remember telling Marinelle, like, yo, the video's not there. Can you send me an extra copy? But then when we thought about it, it was like, it's probably better not to put the video in here because Kris Jenner seems to be taking stuff down and I didn't want them to take, you know, flag my video. So I just put the still shot in there. Um, now I've gone back to Gossip in the City's page and the video's back up. But now what's really interesting is this. A lot of pages that were up that night talking about it, because it was only up on maybe like two or three pages. So the website where I was initially quoting the story from was Ace, was Ace Showbiz. And if you go on there today, it's totally different. This is not how it was. Initially, they had the video. They had the link to Gossip in the City. Um, but they've totally revamped what they wrote back on February 17th. That is not how their page looked. So you can tell that they're going around trying to contain this story and minimize it. So what ended up happening is that Kanye, honey, messy, messy. So what happened is that basically... On Friday, Kanye took to Instagram and he posted a screenshot from Hollywood Unlocked and it says Corey Gamble allegedly spotted in the club kissing another woman. And so he posted on his page. He had over 3000 likes and he writes, we outside Donda 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. And then he had a bunch of like shocking emoji faces. Right. So what ended up happening is. Within like maybe 20 minutes, Kanye deleted the post and so did Hollywood Unlocked. Delete all that shit! Delete all that shit! Let's play with you, piggy! So it was really, really messy. People were talking about this, but Kanye knows everybody's watching him. And they're watching everything he posts because of all the drama with Kim and Pete Davidson. So what I find very interesting is that he posted this. You know what I'm saying? To try and get the story rolling because, like I said, ever since the 17th when we first talked about it, that story has been taken down. They've been trying to suppress it on social media. Well, now, as of last night, Kanye was like, fuck it. I'm about to say what I got to say. And he's left the post up. So this is what Kanye posted last night on Instagram. Kanye says, God has a plan to remove the godless. Corey needed to never be here anyway. And I think he's a nice person, but not a great person. A nice person who used to be around Puss family, then got around Justin Bieber. Then when Chris got divorced, he slid in. He became the TV version of a father figure. And as he always called himself a real nigga. He once told my wife he knew what music she should be listening to. So when I seen him a week later, I had him removed from my daughter's birthday party. We still never met his family, and I guess we never will. He got my wife linked up with the liberals in a deep way that was his job for some reason. I always felt like he worked for DuPont or some organization of that pedigree. Now he's off to the next mission. His job is done. He's not messy enough to do something like this. It's on purpose. I love Chris and this woman is a hero. She's done what she had to do to protect her family and make sure that they prosper, even if it meant telling everyone not to listen to me. I respect her grind, her hustle, and her mind. Chris is one of the best to ever do it. So that is what Kanye wrote about Corey Gamble. Now, what was even crazier is that Rodney Jerkins, super producer, he ends up DMing Kanye and Kanye posts the DM. So Kanye writes, God is good. And this is what Rodney Jerkins wrote. 
Rodney says, ha ha, you forgot me too. Corey Gamble stole from me as well. Stole all my MPC zips to give to some little producer dude he was managing back in the day. I'm glad Chris woke up. God is removing the evil blockers to bring restoration. So this entire situation is crazy. Basically, from what I'm gathering, Chris Jenner is severing ties with Corey Gamble. Now, they've been together for years. They've been together now about going on seven years. They got together while Chris was going through a divorce with Bruce Jenner. After 22 years of marriage and almost a year after announcing their separation, Chris and Bruce Jenner are officially divorcing. ET has obtained the divorce documents which cite irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split. They also state that Chris wants joint physical and legal custody of their 17-year-old daughter, Kylie. Kendall is 18 and now considered an adult. So that's when she met Corey Gamble and so shortly after that they started dating now there's not a whole lot on Corey Gamble when you go to like look up who he is what he's about um, they say that he's a business executive he's a talent manager he's worked with the likes of Justin Bieber he calls Justin Bieber his nephew but there's not a lot of backstory there's you know nobody really knows his parents where he came from but he is from Atlanta and he studied business marketing at Morehouse College in Atlanta but that's really all you know about Corey you don't really know too much else and especially being that he's with such a public family people have always found them interesting and let's not forget the 25 year age gap so that's all always you know cause a little bit of controversy because it's such a big age gap and people feel like Corey's just a kept man he's just using Kris Jenner all he has to do is you know what I'm saying give her some pain honey <laughs> you know what I'm saying give her some night quill and then put it to sleep and he's living his best life on the low so people have always kind of side-eyed this relationship but they've been together for a long time I mean ever since what 2014 and what was so interesting is the way that they met now how they met was at fashion designer ricardo tc's 40th birthday which was thrown by kanye west okay um they're going to um what's what's kanye's friend's name at givenchy ricardo, ricardo tc they went to um kanye's designer friends uh fashion favorite birthday not year but an event on your birthday what my was 40th it? birthday two years uh, one year uh, two years ago and it was last minute party and i was not expecting so many people came all over from all over the world to celebrate my 40th birthday so kanye west through the party Corey gamble gets an invite from i don't know who but he shows up to the party and that is where he ends up meeting um chris jenner and he just woos chris jenner off of her feet and she's just ready to move on you know divorce is hard she wants to pick up the pieces she wants some you know what i'm saying some new pain i'm not mad at you sis get that okay so her and Corey start dating and they really start feeling each other and then fast forward to april 2015 honey they're posting couple pictures they're going out on double dates with billy ray cyrus and and trish cyrus and you know everything else and they're looking like a really cute couple so at this point you know Corey's in there we're seeing him at the Met Gala and he's Chris Jenner's plus one you know and people are really you know liking Corey because he just seems to just you know be there and he's making Chris happy you know so everything that Kanye said is very interesting and even though for the most part on the outside looking in you know we've kind of accepted Corey he's like somehow their stepfather even though him and Kim Kardashian are the same age but if you know what I'm saying if they like it I love it you know what I'm, saying? I'm not mad you know I want you know, okay my, me and my stepdaddy are the same age because my mama's that chick okay i'm not mad so anyhow what a lot of people don't realize is this is not the first time that kanye has had beef with Corey and has blasted Corey for this yeah i really do be keeping up with the kardashians low-key i just don't really report on them but i'm you know but i'm reporting on them now just because of all the kanye stuff even though sometimes he gets on my nerves honey but you know yay is jay and you know we gonna always have love for yay so let me take y'all back to 2019 because it seems like a lot of people forgot about this on keeping up with the kardashians i do recall there was an episode where kanye blasted Corey gamble and kim spills the tea so what went down is that basically kanye hit up Corey. y'all know kanye ain't got no damn filter and he's basically like nigga who are you why we ain't never met your family who's your mama and them who your peoples you know how we are you know what I'm saying? We may know you, but once you've been around, like, who, like, who, who birthed you? Where are your parents at? Where are your siblings? Where are your cousins and them? 
So Kanye was just asking what we ask as black people. You know, you've been coming through now for about a year. We ain't met nobody from your side of the family. What's up? Like, what's up? Today I got time because I want to know. And so Corey was very offended. He was, oh, he was appalled. How dare this fucking Chicago thug want to know about my backstory? So he, you know, runs to Kris Jenner and tells Kris Jenner. And she's like pissed. She's like, Kim, how dare your husband think that he can question Corey and want to know his family? That's none of his business. So it was like this back and forth. So this drama really stems from 2019 for y'all who don't know, honey. Y'all not keep receipts, bitch. So, and even in that episode, it's funny because you can see where they're like kind of uncomfortable with Corey, but they're trying to accept him. And even uh, Chloe felt a way because during that episode, Corey shows up to this girl's trip that she was supposed to have with Malika and her mom and her mom brings a plus one and it just kind of throws off the vibe. And then there were even incidences where like um, Kendall got into it with Corey and cussed him out one time. I'm not into your fight. That's between y'all. You keep grouping us up like it's us against you. The aftermath of Kendall and Kylie's fight on Keeping Up With The Kardashians continues. I don't know, it was like really, I mean, I wasn't even that emotional. At least I didn't think I was. Kendall, you've been a rude person for years. I'm about to tell you the truth about how you are. You don't apologize for nothing. You get into one thing, now you got something to run and harp on, then you tripping. Yeah, Corey Gamble is basically choosing sides and giving tough love to Kendall. I don't trip though. Kiss my ass? I don't need nobody kissing my ass. What the hell are you talking about? Everything was wrong. I mean, believe it however you want to. I, I ain't tripping. Safe to say, Kendall is not happy. I'm already pretty frustrated with the whole situation and hurt and offended. Corey, he's just not right in this situation and I'd rather him just admit it, say sorry and man up. And mom Chris wants no part of it either. I mean, I don't like being in the middle. I wasn't even a part of it and I feel stuck. I'm sorry, babe. Um, so like I said, this is like nothing new. So I'm thinking, cause you know, Kanye, honey, I feel like I know the mind of Kanye for some reason. Kanye's being messy. He's thinking back to 2019. Okay. When he sent Corey that text, like, bro, who are you? Who is your family? Okay. And Corey got upset. You know what I'm saying? Told his then, I think that at that point they were engaged or something. I don't know, child. Told Chris and then Chris confronted Kim. Kanye was like, I think it's weird. Like, we've never met his family. That's weird. I mean, of course, we've all felt that way and thought that. But for Kanye to just so bluntly say that to him, I feel like that was the wrong choice to make at that time. You guys sit and talk sh to Kanye. And if you talk sh to Kanye, he's going to put that up here and run with it. I mean, when it is weird. I'm, we not saying, I'm not saying we're that all different. How about you used to be weird? We all put up with each other. And this caused a lot of conflict in the fandom, honey. Y'all not be in these streets. The fandoms were going back and forth. The fandoms definitely felt the way. You know, between the Kanye fans and the Kim, you know, the, the Kardashian fans. Like, who does Kanye think he is? And the Kanye fans was like, that's just Ye. Ye gonna question shit. Corey's around his kids. He wants to know who is Corey. What is his backstory? So this was definitely discussed on social media. So I just find it very interesting that now that that cheating allegation is out he's posting the lead in so those are shots at Corey, and then now he just all the way blasted Corey is godless and is basically happy that chris jenner has finally woke up so there's definitely something amiss you know they this i feel like this whole kardashian facade because they try to i'm not saying they try to make themselves a perfect family but they do try their hardest to keep up a certain facade you know not that they're perfect because you know they've all had their drama and their issues with each other and things like that but they do definitely don't like drama within the family they do try to keep that to a minimum and kanye is slowly pulling the veil that's what he's doing he's showing you know what i'm saying that there's some cracks in the foundation and everything is not as perfect as it is, even concerning the matriarch. And while he respects her and he loves Kris Jenner, he's showing the world like, you know, your choice in the mate may not be the best choice for you. 
So this entire situation is really interesting, but I just wanted to come out here and do a quick breakdown for you guys. So let me know your thoughts on this latest situation concerning Kanye, Kris Jenner, and Corey, you know, allegedly cheating on her with the Instagram model. And I do agree with Kanye in that one part where he says that that's not an accident. When you're that high profile, you're running around with the Kardashian family, everything you do is monitored. Everything you do is being watched. And so if he is allowing himself to kiss a girl on camera and allowing her to post it supposedly to her OnlyFans, but she accidentally posted it to her Instagram story, then I believe maybe Corey is looking for an outs in that relationship or he was looking to be caught. Because why even allow anybody to film you? So the whole situation is not only interesting, but it's very messy, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Make sure you hit that subscribe button in the event they unsubscribed you, honey. Don't forget to hit the like button and feel free to share the video. I will talk to y'all later. And y'all have a happy Sunday. Deuces.